Specs competitions are the one place where you have a chance to show off your robot, and more importantly, your team. The way you conduct yourself at a competition can truly make or break your performance. Here's some do's and don'ts to remember with Team 1138's Specs Guide to Tournament Conduct. The first thing to think about when it comes to conduct at competitions is to, as we like to say, be the most charming thing on two feet. Our friends over here, the Robo Brats, they're struggling with their tournament behavior. Let's find out what they're doing wrong. So how's your bot doing today? We're doing pretty good, but we're having a few problems with our lift at the moment. All right, let's face it, this is a total fail out of lines. We're totally gonna make a kill. This is so unbelievable. We should have totally won excellence. All the other teams here are trash anyway. Oh man, well, everything can't always go your way, but you should always remain sportsmanlike. If you can't say something nice, then don't say anything. But really, I bet you can think of something nice to say. Hey, you guys did really great that last match. Oh, thanks. Thank you. All right, what a great shot. These guys are getting really good. One place where everyone sees your behavior is in the pits, so make sure that you understand how to keep things professional. The Robo Brats are having a hard time impressing the judges with these issues. For starters, don't leave food or trash in your pit. And the pit is definitely no place to take a nap. Are you guys the Robo Brats? Also, playing games and ignoring visitors is certainly no way to win an award. A clean pit reflects a professional and efficient team, so make sure that your pit is clean and well organized. And your pit should not be crowded with people doing nothing, so make sure that everyone in the pit is there for a reason. Remember, when judges come by pits, you should stand up, look them in the eye, shake their hands, and introduce yourself. Hello, how are you? I'm Ashley Park from Team 1138G. Finally, if you don't agree with a call from the referee, there's a right way to handle it and a wrong way. How did you hold that penalty? Like, seriously? Team 1138. Calm down, calm down. If you feel like you need to dispute a call, send one student to the head ref after your match and ask for clarification on their ruling. If you think that rule was interpreted incorrectly, be prepared to show the ref the rule in the rule book or a rules clarification on the BEX forum. Whatever they decide after that, the referee's ruling is final. Do not continue to argue with them. Well, I hope you learned some useful information from our Vex Tournament Guide. Always remember to compete fairly, be respectful, and have fun. Thanks from Team 1138 Eagle Engineering.